I was going to medical school at Stark State and going to train to be an EMT. I wanted to get into to surgery or something bloody. <laughs> I wanted to be like in it. But I don't know, halfway through senior year, I was like, I need to go to art school. I need to express myself and merge my interest in the medical field and my interest in being hands-on. But I never was like a horror movie fan, like ever. I think what I like more about it is the medical aspect of it rather than like, I don't know, the horror aspect. And that's kind of why I love when like someone comes to me and wants me to do something more realistic and just showing like, yeah, the movement and the beauty of how it happened almost. I start with the spirit gum, which is a very sticky adhesive. And this just takes really like a thin coat and I apply it just in general where I'll be putting the wax. And then this is basically the most tedious part of the whole process. Um, this is Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. And to work with the scar wax, I have to use a lot of petroleum jelly to avoid the stickiness of it once it heats up. Basically, at this point, I'm just smoothing it down on top of where I want to place my wound and smoothing it down to get the edges as blended as possible. After this, I'm going to go back in and put texture and sculpt into the wax. You kind of just coat this with the petroleum jelly and then go over it to kind of smooth it out even more. As I'm keeping my wrist pretty still, I have to keep turning it to just see all the angles really to get it as smooth as possible and see where the dips and bumpy spots are. So now I'm going to take the stippling sponge and basically just dab all over the area and you can already start to see it not looking quite as smooth and you get some texture in there. And I basically have to keep my hand like this because if I move it too much, it might bubble up underneath. I'm gonna take the toothpick and put in the petroleum jelly. And then I'm just gonna go in and there's a lot of lines and creases at your wrist, so I wanna keep those. And I find just little strokes like this mixed with the stippling sponge really just make it look a little more skin-like. And this is just like a really, you gotta be very delicate with it to get the fine lines. Now the next step that I'm gonna do is to make the cut mark into the wax. Basically sculpting the wound, what the wound's gonna look like. So I'm getting the basic shape. And again, I like some of the texture, like you wanna have some texture in the wax on the inside of the cut. This is a Skin Illustrator palette, and I use this mostly to just adjust the wax color to be the person's skin tone. And then this is the FX palette. It has all your blood tone colors in the middle. It's pretty forgiving, I'd say, this kind of paint. Blend some. You can see it's warmer now instead of so yellow. Take the effects palette now. And I kind of just start with the middle blood tone, not too red and not too dark. I work a lot just from intuition, um, where I think it'll be most red inside the cut or when I, I mean, the medical classes I took and the study I did on anatomy definitely helped. I really just kind of build it based on 
in my head the movement of the injury. Some of it's real reference um, from online or like um, families, like if they're going into surgery, like my uncle had knee surgery, so um, there was pictures from that or stuff my mom sends me. The blood's the final step, so I'm almost done. Like I said, I really probably could never be done. I just like fiddle with it till I ruin it.